this is a very it's a brand new playground it's quite busy here in the, in the summer this is uh, a coffee place owned by Aaron Kafka Aaron Kafka and Anna is helping and is involved there for a time is that right learning about roasting and when she opens her next coffee shop she's going to have additional experience so we're going to go in and have something to eat and drink roasting brewing baking oh there's their social media coffee coffee uh, cheese uh, that's the yeah. uh, yeah. 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 lots of customers yeah. What's that? It's going to be busy. It's going to be busy. She's going to have to go to work. I'm going to have to put on a little apron and <laughs> bust the tables. <laughs> it's cool. I don't do anything without the camera. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome back, you wonderful people around the world in 30 years from now that are enjoying these award-winning YouTubes. Today, I'm getting to walk with a new friend that I'm just meeting. I think she's connected to Jan the cellist somehow, or at least knows him or likes his music. Yeah, we know each other. <laughs> okay, Anna. And pronounce the last name again. Asadova. <laughs> Asadova. Anna Asadova. Come on, that's an easy one. She was born maybe in Ukraine. Is that For where you were born? In Kiev. In Kiev. Uh, what was life like growing up in Kiev? Uh, it's quite a big city um, that tries to be trendy all the time. And. Um, quite vibrant, still um, setting that historical part okay. of itself. People are quite nice. Um, it's it's a mix of post USSR times, like and buildings, culture, and everything, as well as a touch of European culture, like. Um, so people are so much into fashion, culture, but what I love about Ukraine and Kiev specifically, people just, no matter what happens, they fight with it okay. and they stay with their beliefs. Okay. Uh, kind of half and half. My mom uh, is from Ukraine. Okay. Like my father uh, is from Azerbaijan. Okay. So growing up, I was experiencing also like two I would say opposite cultures okay. and opposite beliefs and how a kid should be raised. Wow. Um, <laughs> especially as a woman. So, so good, but they are so talented so in you, all the ways. You are uh, Azerbaijanian, partially. Yes. Because of your dad. And hang on a second, let me see if, no, he's not here. This is his restaurant. So growing up, there were um, uh, lots of uh, times of discussions that oh, yeah. ranged in temperature. Oh yes, <laughs> and a lot of times when you have to be flexible and actually respect other person opinion and how him, like he or she sees things. Your mm -hmm. next question, uh, how did you get here? You said you've been living here five years. Almost five years, yeah. Okay, so why did you come to Canada? How did that come about? Um, long story short, that was my decision since I was 16 years old. And, but at, at that age, I just couldn't put everything together in order to make it, um, you know, in a better way, like how I wanted that to happen. So it took me another 10 years to, for like all the stars to come together and it also was like quite a big um like the situation pushed me like whenever we faced the war on the east and it wasn't that loud 
explain the world how it is right now, unfortunately. Okay. But Sex so and boom. Yeah. <laughs> I googled. I googled why Canada. <laughs> so I googled like the best cities to live in in the world. Right. And it showed me like a list of them, and Vancouver was one of the like first third uh, cities. So I was like, okay, that's a nice mixture and balance between a good city and nature that I love the most. So that's how. This story I have heard the repeated difficulties of those five years here that you didn't expect uh, or anticipate. To keep it short, I would say whenever you maybe not everyone, mm. but most of the people, when they think about immigration, they they're focused on okay, I will get a lot of good things. Mm. But actually, they should be ready to just let it go a lot of things too. Mm. To lose a lot of things in order to open that door for the new things that they have. So they do let not go. expect it. Right. They do not expect to give something or give up something in order to get something. They only want to get right. something. I would say ah, this is the most... Give and take. Yes. <laughs> Make sacrifices and yeah. accept and they back and forth. They think it won't be any sacrifices. They will just right. come. It will be, be around to them. them and everything will be nice. Maybe a little bit hard, but they can make it work. But whenever you come, it's just not like that. Right. You have to give something in order to get something back. Right. And everything is beautiful. Right. Yeah. You have a good perspective on life. And you have a pleasant personality. History. I was doing like a little bit of business. So when I came to Canada, I thought, okay, I always dreamed about having a coffee shop. Ah. So I've built one. You have a coffee shop here? I used to. Oh. I sold my like my part to my partners some okay. time ago. What was the name of it? Uh, that's Coffee Espresso Bar oh. on St. John Street in Fort Moody. Nice. Yeah. Was it a good experience? It was an amazing experience. Um, I got a lot from that, and um, although it doesn't belong to me anymore, right. there was a lot of things to learn. Right. And when after I moved on, I learned even more and more and more, and just never stopped. And at one point, I understood that I do not want anything else in my life other than coffee. <laughs> so your, your coffee shop? Are you hungry? Um, no, not yet. What's that? Yet. No, yeah. this doesn't make you hungry. <laughs> Is he there? Uh, how are you doing? Hello. Good. <laughs> Business is good? I'm good, I'm nice. Happy New Year. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about like more than selling the coffee, it's more like an idea of getting together a community. Okay. that share like when each person shares his or her own talent and just uh, you know gathering people together okay yeah, like exchanging that energy and everything it's more than coffee right uh, I work in a coffee shop but I also work in a roastery Ooh. so getting to know more and more about coffee and planning to open another location that's gonna be uh, that would belong to me, right? Be yeah. your own? Okay. Uh, either on my own or with partners uh, in the nearest future again. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I do. Nice. Yeah. So that takes us to the uh, third question, which is your dream vision for the future. If things were to come together for you in a miraculous way, which they can do, what would be your dream future look like? It's a very interesting question just because um, lately I understood that I do not want to plan plan. Right. I want to set a way, but if this way changes because that's how it happens in life, right. we plan something, God laughs, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> the best laid plans of mice and men. Um, whenever I wanted to make the first coffee shop, I thought about it more like a business with the 
industry that I was interested okay. in before, but uh, started slowly, slowly. So it's always with me. Right. I just took it to another level. Okay. And I'm trying to learn and learn more every day. Huh. Um, yeah, that's how it happened. Just because that's what I like to do. Yeah. And met some nice people in here. Let's see if they're here and we'll say hi. One is over here. He's the guy that if you want meat from a butcher uh -huh. of any kind, he's the guy that will point you in the right direction. Yeah. And it's I know you're going to be watching this. You're not here, but looks like your dad is. And looks like business is going great for the Robson Gourmet Butcher. Vancouver's butcher for all of you people in Vancouver. How's the bee business? Good. Yeah? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Happy New Year. What's your name? I'm Jasmine. Jasmine. Yeah. I'm Danny nice and this is you. Anna. Anna's from Ukraine. Nice originally. You. But she's been here quite a while, so she's really a Vancouverite. Come on, let's do something to help them. And here, come here, Anna. We'll do a, a thumbnail of their story here. There we go. We're visiting the honey place and making a thumbnail with Anna. She's delightful, and she's going to help me understand how to make coffee properly without a machine. <laughs> I will. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Have a good day. <laughs>